before I get started on this quick review, here's how I feel about this game. Can I help you, sir? Yes, what is this? Huh? This is whack! I can't get jiggy with this shit! <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. NBA Live 15 is a step above its last entry, but not so much to push the envelope to take the world by storm. Live seems to follow a mantra, presentation over gameplay. And I can see why they do it. Presentation to NBA Live 15 is outstanding. And with the ESPN license and trademark stadiums, it looks the part. But gameplay is the core of all game design. And in this game, it's still having some trouble. First, for the upside, dribbling and freestyle moves makes this game a joy to play. Improving on execution and feel, dribbling in NBA Live is the best. Next, we have the pick and roll system. Holding the L2 button filters through pick and roll, pop and fade, making it a great option to drive to the basket or weave it past through defense. This creates a good offensive flow and spacing towards getting more points in a more realistic feel. Now back to presentation. The players look much better than the NBA Live 14. And the crowd and stadium feels legit with camera flashes and all. Pound for pound, you can get a really good game of basketball anytime with NBA Live 15. Pound for pound, huh? I'm starting to sound like Stephen A. Smith. Now time for the little bit of trouble. Gameplay and animations are downright stacked, and the offensive flow in-game can grind to a screeching halt, which can take things out of place in the NBA fast break. Ducking and layups can't be stopped for some reason, and that seems to be a problem in both NBA series in 2K and in live. Defense need to be improved in both titles, and I need to talk about that a little bit more in the near future. And also, Rising Star is pretty much the same as my player, but with a better HUD design. I do like their designs for the my player and their little tidbits for uh, increasing ratings or whatever. They don't have as much ratings as 2K does, which makes it less complicated. So for gameplay and design, I'm giving NBA Live 15 a C+. Minor improvements on gameplay and presentation, and the players look good this year. But in-game animation and game flow have a lot of hiccups. But it's a good game nonetheless. And I see tons of potential in the pro state, dealing with dribbling and shooting. It's good execution. Plus, I see a 2K11 sort of configuration with the triangle and square or Y and X buttons being gather and shoot. Good job, I really appreciate that. Also, the consumer report, wait for a price drop. This game isn't a must buy, but if you love NBA and a good alternative to the 2K series, try it out. It's a pretty decent game. Hey guys, if you want a full rundown video on gameplay design and full content of NBA Live 15, go ahead, comment below and like this video, and I will have a rundown video on this title in the near future. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.